Almighty has stipulated a restriction, a limit of how to honor and respect? No. It is a blanket statement. It's clear. Honor him and respect him. Honor him and respect him. It is a part of your iman to love, honor, and respect Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. If you was to not love and respect and honor Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, your iman is in question and doubt. You would leave the folds of Islam for your disrespect for the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam which is a clear violation against this verse of the Quran. Honor him and respect him. So I ask, how do we honor him? How do we respect him? I'm not going to look at what you tell me or what he tells me or what she will tell me. No, I want to go back to what the Sahaba will tell me. The Sahaba told me when I have read, they mentioned to me, to you, which I narrate to you, that when Allah's Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam would make wudu, they would fight to catch the wudu, the water that fell from the blessed body of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi That's what they taught me. That was their expression of love. They were the greatest people. Why? Because they were willing, they were ready to sacrifice their lives for Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. They were willing and ready to sacrifice their lives for Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam. And why would they do this? Out of love, honor, and respect. Therefore, I conclude, what is the reward of showing love, honor, and respect to Rasulullah salatu wasalam? What is the outcome? What is the result? What are the consequences? What is the natija? What is the outcome of this tazia? What, what will you get? I will march in the street to demonstrate my love to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam, what reward will I get? I will gather in the house of Allah Almighty and send durood and salam upon him. What reward will I get? I will fast on this Monday. What ajr will I get? With the intention that Nabi alayhi salatu wasallam fasted because he was born on that day. What is the reward of this? We come back to the verse that I began with. وَمَنْ يُطِعِ اللَّهَ وَالرَّسُولِ and he who obeys Allah and the Messenger. Certainly those people will be with those whom Allah Almighty has favored upon. From amongst those whom the prophets, the truthful, the martyrs, the righteous, he will be with them. The one who obeys Allah and his Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.